Can you hear? Hey guys, we're gonna be quiet, but we're here at a museum because museums are cool. It's museum day. We're at the Lightner. And actually right here, there's a mummy. There's a mummy right there. That's crazy. There's all kinds of neat things here in this museum. We're gonna see a bunch of them. Oh, this is pretty interesting here. Winston Churchill posing with a couple of lions, Monty and Ike. Two of the 40 cubs that Rhoda sired during his lifetime. And another interesting thing is, this is Rhoda right here. That is crazy. Pretty interesting things here. All right, so we've gotten to a little elevator here with these lions on it. Um, we're going to the third floor. We're gonna work our way back down, but we're gonna start. We're at the American Art and Acquisitions. Off we go. All right, so we've made it up here to this first top floor. All these things, man, you know what? If it says do not touch, I always want to touch. I'm not going to here though. That guy looks familiar. The old ape. Look at him. There he is. Places like this always look kind of spooky, especially here in St. Augustine, because I've said it before, pretty sure every single place is haunted. I mean, doesn't that look like a haunted hallway? <gasps> Looky here, horn furniture, American horn furniture. Furniture made from horns, obviously. And a lovely painting that you can hang up above your, your chair. That way when you're sitting there, in a room, all by yourself, in the dark, in the quiet. They'll be right there with you. You know what this just reminded me of? The opening sequence of The Muppet Show. That's cool. Look at this banana sticker. Stickers from bananas. How about that? Art. I had no idea I was doing art all this time. Did you know I was doing art? And as we exit the elevator, we're greeted by this portrait of Louis the 18th. Look at that. That's the real deal right there. Wow, that is really neat. This is, he was the last of the Sun Kings of France. And this picture, this actual painting here, it was, uh, it was thought to be one of the last paintings of uh, Antoine Francois Calais, ordained as painter to the king by Louis the 16th. Man, that's neat. This, this one was actually exhibited in Paris in 1817, then it disappeared. Resurfaced in the United States. Some time later. And now here it is, right there. And as we step into the American Gallery Hall, look at this neat room here with all kinds of stuff. Busts to look over you. <laughs> they always have such coy looks on their faces. Man, I really love the architecture in these places. Almost as much as the art. Look at... That's Lumiere almost. Man, look at the way the shadow just... dances across the wall behind him. That is spooky. This was actually the pool room at one time. Which is pretty interesting. There was water that filled the bottom there. And it was... I think it was like the first indoor pool. This is a, a cabinet, obviously. Man, I bet there's a lot of secret things in there. Fancy things here. Oh, don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. 
apparently this uh, is believed to belong to Louis Bonaparte, um, who was appointed King of Holland by his brother Napoleon. Heard of that guy. But man, look at this thing. Wow, that is crazy. All the things. You can't get close to it. It is, you know, it's bordered off, so you can't get too close to it. But man, look how, look at all the things going on in that. Drawers everywhere. It looks like drawers on the back of the chair. Do those work? And like maybe even a secret drawer down there. Man, that is cool. Wow. All right, we're gonna go down these steps here, down to this little area. I don't know what's going on here. Ooh, that's fancy. Wow. I feel like I should not be in here. Look at that lamp. That's a doozy. All right, remember this was a hotel at one time and it was a pretty fancy one that had fancy stuff in it. This was the massage room. It was actually right here. Now it's a display of some nice things. Fancy crystal glass and, and whatnot. It's very blue in there. But man, look at these hinges. That's what impresses me. That is a, that's a fancy hinge. And check this out, it's a collection of toasters. Didn't expect to see anything like this in here. Pleasantly surprised. Ooh, that one's kind of tore apart. Oh, look at that little tiny toaster. For making little tiny toast, I guess. Oh, this is interesting. This is the actual baths room. Look at this control panel here. What the heck is going on with this thing? Ice? Who takes a ice bath? Well, I guess that's a thing. I guess that's what it looked like with all its little things. What is this? This is like a hose to shoot people. What the heck, man? This is so weird. Oh, look at this shower contraption here. Surrounded by... That looks pretty nice. Hmm. Then as we go into this room, this must have been like the steam room. Is that what this is? No, this is a Russian, Russian bath. Weird. It's just sounds. Can you hear it? I know. Next up, the historic pool. See, and here's a picture of it with the the water and the people just having a good time it's got all these like swings and stuff they can swing from they still have a some of the, the eye hooks and maybe even a little bit of the what is that a piece of rope up there is that ancient rope now you can sit here and eat enjoy a nice meal oh but yep the old glory days that's what it was like That's a weird door. Well, we've made our way into the gift shop portion. So this must be the end. But look at this purse Jessica found. That's almost got some Epcot vibes. And that was the Leitner Museum. And I just realized that we haven't even seen Mr. Leitner until right now. And there he is. Otto C. Leitner. So that's the Leitner Museum. The old museum actually used to be the Alcazar Hotel. One of the hoity-toity places to stay at here in St. Augustine, Florida. It just, it just got a weird feeling, which is kind of fun and exciting, a little scary. I'm pretty sure it's haunted, like everything, but I feel it in there, like you can feel there's some things going on in there. I mean, maybe not, but in any case, as far as we're concerned, yeah, that's pretty cool.